katika eneo la Loima kaunti ya Turkana kumekucha. Jamii ya Waturkana ni ya wafugaji ama tuseme wafugaji wa kuhama hama. Wingi wa mchanga, uhaba wa nyasi na ukosefu wa maji unasaliti hali yao. Ukame. Ikizingatiwa kuwa ni jamii inayopendana na mila zake kama mlango na kufuli, mada kama upangaji uzazi hazikaribishi kwa moyo mkunjufu katika vikao vyao. Sababu kubwa ikiwa kwamba wanatilia shaka mbinu za kisasa za kupanga uzazi kama vile sindano, tembe na mipira ya kondomu. Hata hivyo kuna wingu la tumaini maanake baadhi yao wamekubali kupanga uzazi lakini kwa kutumia mbinu zao za kiasili shanga wanazovaa shingoni na mkononi Kitongo jini Lorgum macho yetu yanadakwa na Yunis Loyapa Kwenye mkono wake wa kushoto kuna bangili sita na ushanga wenye nakshi za rangi tofauti. Ananieleza kuwa kanda wana ushanga huu kupamba mkono wake, pia unamsaidia katika kupanga uzazi wake kwa kuhesabu siku za hidhi yake. Hii green waiting period. Hii black umeanza period. White hii ni save days. Kulala hata na mtu utapata mtoto. Hii ni danger days. Ujua kwamba ile red iko danger kwa kutaweza kupata mtoto. Amekuwa akifanya hivi kwa muda wa karibu miaka miwili iliyopita. Hajaolewa wala hana mtoto. Si yeye pekee anayetumia shanga kujikinga na mimba ya ghafla. Celestine Aena ana watoto watatu na huyu wa mwisho anayemnyonyesha ana miezi minane. Pia naye amekubuhu katika kutumia mtindo huu kupanga uzazi. Fia red uko mali pabaya sasa ukifanya maybe ushiriki ngono na mtu ukinini kwa idet tashika mimba Celestine ambaye mwisho wa elimu yake ulikuwa darasa la saba, anasema kwamba upangaji uzazi haukuwa katika ratiba ya maisha yake ililetwa kabla sijajua mambo ya family plan sasa hii ililetwa wakati kan nimeshika huyo mtoto lakini sasa nimeelewa mtindo huu ulipigiwa upato kwa wanawake hawa na shirika la kimataifa la hatua za idadi ya watu Pai kupitia kwa shirika linaloangazia huduma za afya Afrika AMREF na wana sababu tatu kuu za wao kufanya hivyo ya kwanza wanapokuja hospitali unapowaelezea kuhusu hizo njia zingine mtu atakwambia nataka kutumia hii natural method sasa kwa sababu sisi tukaona vile wanapenda natural method how will we make it easier for them to use their natural family planning method ndio tukaamua tulete hii beads na tunaona hata wakikuja hospitali hiyo namba imeongezeka kwa sababu wana appreciate mmewapatia njia ambayo inaambatana na mila yao ya pili hii ni jamii ambayo wanapenda mapambo katika hiyo mapambo yao one of the things that they use to make their ornaments are the beads so tuliona it's easier for them and it can also be associated with their culture na ya tatu ilitokana na kiwango duni cha elimu turkana when you tell them to go and mark on the calendar some of them have never even seen the calendar some of them in as much as they have the calendar they are illiterate kulingana na faith chesang mjuzi wa afya mama na watoto kuna aina mbili za shanga za mkononi na shingoni ambapo mwanamke huchagua hiari yake imenisaidia kwa kuona hii eh hii tarehe ni mbaya kwa hii ni msuri hasa hata nikienda kwa hii nikifanya kitu yote siwezi shika. Ananionyesha namna huu ushanga wa kuvalia shingoni hutumiwa. Wao huzinunua kutoka kwa halmashauri ya taifa ya kusambaza dawa na vyombo vya matibabu. This cycle bed it's very effective for someone who has uh, the monthly period is between 26 to 32 days. When she's starting her period, she has to move this ring to the red bead. Sasa hebu tuanzie hii siku hapa. Ameanza hizi zake. Sasa tutahesabu siku ya kwanza, siku ya pili, siku ya tatu siku ya nne. Wacha tuseme ni mtu ambaye ana period zake maybe ni 4 days. Sasa hapa atabaki na hizi siku. These are her safe days. But the moment anafika hapa kwa white, anafaa ajue anaweza pata mimba. Anaweza pata mimba. Hizo ni siku 12. Eh, ni siku 12. So hizo siku 12 tunaipatia for her ovulation. After that kuna hizi siku ambazo pia haezi jihusisha Mm. Tunampatia pia hiyo allowance. Mm. Sasa tunampatia like 1 2 3 4 days, si ndio? Mm. Tutakuwa tumefika kwa ibid mm. nyeusi hapa. Mm. So from these days she is safe mm. paka hapo. Mm. Akingojea ovulation. 
Hata hivyo kwa mabinti au wanawake ambao siku zao za hedhi ni chini ya siku 26 au zaidi ya siku 33 wanashauriwa. By the time her period starts before she gets to the red bead, it means her cycle is less than 32. And if her cycle starts after she has already moved, because we have a ring here, by the time she has moved it past the red one, it means her cycle is more than 32 days. Then if her period starts before she gets to this uh, dark brown uh, color, it means her cycle is less than 26 days. So for those two people, the one who has a cycle less than 26 days, or the one who has a cycle that is more than 32, it means that this method is not very effective for them they can still use but it's not very effective so for that kind of a person we, we encourage them to use mixed method of family planning either a barrier method like use of condom or if they cannot if it's a couple that they don't uh, want to use that method they can as well abstain from intercourse until she's now on her safe days what about those ladies who have irregular With the irregularity she cannot be able to know exactly when her safe days are. We encourage them also to use a mixed method for family planning. Every family planning method is not 100% effective because even that official. Even that official and we all know that even they are artificial because they are made by human beings. Wanawake katika kijiji hiki wamejitolea kupanga uzazi kutumia mtindo huu na wanahamasishana wenyewe kwa wenyewe. Yunis ndio mwalimu wao ama tuseme balozi wa shanga za uzazi. Uhakikisha ujumbe wake umezama katika bongo za wenzake hata kama ni kwa kuandika ardhini. Ikitu imesaidia wasichana wapate siku hizi watoto sana sana. Mzee wangu basi anaelewa hii shanga. Women they gave us feedback and they were telling us the men were asking them what is this that you are walking with around your neck or uh, on your wrist but for the women so far that we've uh, be able to interact with them they tell us once they've explained to them that this is a natural way of family planning their men has have been very receptive towards the same tukiwa bado katika namna za kiasili ambazo wanawake turkana hutumia kupanga uzazi bali na ile ya ushanga kunao wanaoitumia ile ya kuonyonyesha wanao mfululizo kuzuia hedhi zao it's what we call lactational aminoria when she's breastfeeding there's a hormone that is being released you'll find that for the time that she's uh, breastfeeding she'll not even have her monthly period bali na lorgum karibu na lodwa tulitafuta mmoja wanawake unaotumia mtindo huu kwa kupanga uzazi Naita Yunisa Kiru. Nina miaka 24. Nimeko kwa ndoa miaka 10. Ni mkazi wa kitongoji cha Naperebei. Amekuwa akionyonyesha mtoto wake kwa karibu kuanzia kwa kifungua mimba hadi kwa mtoto wake watano. Nikijifungua mtoto tarehe kumi mwezi wa tuseme ya kwanza. Sasa ninapeleka nasa peleka tena huyo mtoto mpaka tarehe kumi mwezi wa kwanza tena ya hiyo mwaka ingine. Sasa ikifikisha hapo hivyo ndio hapo hapo sote nitajua mimi tu kama huyu mtoto amefikisha tarehe kumi leo kesho ni huyu mtoto atafikisha tarehe kumi mwezi wa kwanza na atakuwa amefikisha mwaka mo, moja sasa hapo mimi naanza kujipanga naanza kujiona sasa mimi saa yote naweza oh naweza ona mwezi yani period ikionekana tu ndio naanza sasa kuambia mzee wewe mimi raha yangu na wewe hakuna te hakuna tena kama atani itaisha tu yuma, siku kumi na nne hata wakati unakula haina shida they'll tell you like I breastfeed my baby up to two years. So it's very effective for them. Watatu wako na miaka 6. 6. Sasa hapo ulikaa miaka 3 kama hujaza. Kama sijaza. Na ulitumia hizi imbi hii nutu ya. Wanaamini kuwa mtu akiwa na watoto wengi watasaidia katika kuendeleza jamii na pia watasaidia katika kuchunga mifugo yao. Hata kama njaa iko lakini watu wa wawe. Mungu anajua. Wajua hata wanasemanga wakati Mungu wakati umepata mtoto Mungu ameshaweka nini? sani yake ama ikwangi hivyo na mbona usiende kwa hospitali wamupewe labda dawa fulani sasa niende nitafute nini tena kama mimi mwenyewe ni daktari tuseme sasa mimi mwenyewe ni family fulani sijai kuenda huko ni nianze sasa kuchukua hiyo sindani watu wengi wao ina ina affect sasa hata mimi naogopa nikienda maybe naweza hiyo sindani naweza nyaribu 
Napendelea sasa kutumia tu hii. Na watu wa afya wa serikali wamekuja hapa wakawaambia wakawafundisha mafunzo kuhusu muhimu ya kukuna watoto wachache wamekuja. Sijawahi kusikia wanakujanga. Turkana and Samburu are some of the 15 worst counties in terms of women's health. Na unalenga kukuwa na watoto wangapi wewe? Nategemea mzee. It's a patriarchal society and so it's a man who makes all the decisions. Yeah, so at times you need to push these men here to tell them what we are advocating for is healthy spacing of children and not that we are coming to cut yeah, the birth of children. You know, that is the interpretation they have. When it comes to sensitizing them on the use of the artificial method, we are also working with the religious leaders at congregation level. We are also engaging the traditional leaders. Binu ingine ya kiasili ambayo inadokezewa kuwa jamii hii utumia kupanga uzazi ni pale ambapo mwanamke akishika mimba au akijifungua Mume wake huchukua mifugo na kwenda kuichunga mbali na nyumbani. When my wife gives birth, I disappear with the livestock to look after it far from home for even up to one year. Then I come back home when the child has grown. Community health volunteers, they are within the village, but we train them on various modules on family planning. So that again for us as Afia Temizo is something very important to us. We are, we are making sure that if at any time we exit, then those people can continue to do the service. Kulingana na waasisi wa mtindo huwa kutumia shanga kupanga uzazi. Kiwango cha upangaji uzazi turukana kimimarika kwa aslimi ya nne na bado kitazidi kuimarika na kuimarika. Madam katika jamii hii wa Turkana pia wanaume uvalia shanga shingoni sita shangaa kuona baadhi ya wanaume wakivalia ushanga huu shingoni kupanga uzazi manake shughuli hii huhusisha wote wawili mme na mke Victor Wetende Mwanga wa Ebru katika kijiji cha Lorgum county ya Turkana